Hey everyone, welcome back to What Do You Watch? I'm Matthew Kovacevic, and Game of Thrones is back! So before I give you guys my top 5 moments from the Season 5 premiere, let's do a quick recap of where we left off. Starting with the Starks. Brand made it to the three-eyed raven, Sansa dyed her hair, Arya starred in the new Disney movie, The Wolf and the Hound, Jon Snow watched his girlfriend die, Rob Catlin and Ned are all still dead, and Rickon is God knows where, continuing to be a useless character. On to the Lannisters. Joffrey is dead, finally. Cersei is still a heartless bitch. Jaime still only has one hand, but he is less of an ass. Tommen is king and by default doing a better job than his brother. Tyrion escaped from certain death, killed that two times Shay, and put multiple arrows into his father, who was to everyone's joy on the Shitter. Everyone else did stuff, killed people, Danny still hasn't returned to Westeros, etc. Now the top five. Number five, Robin Aaron learns to fight. <laughs> the look on Sansa's face alone makes this worth having it on the top five. It's about time that this spoiled brat learned a thing or two and getting to see Sansa finally playing the Game of Thrones and not just being a pawn was so refreshing. Number four, my man Tyrion Lannister, the Papa Slayer, yaks and rabbits. Ugh. Takes back to the college days. Oh, the good old times. All these scenes with Tyrion from this episode were great. Seeing him and Varys play off each other puts a grin on my face every time, and I can't wait until they join Team D. Number three, Melisandre eyebones the shit out of Jon Snow. Why does this moment land so high on the list, you may ask? It's because it is evidence that one of the most beloved fan theories may be correct. I, of course, am talking about R plus L equals J. For those of you that don't know, this is the theory that Jon Snow is actually the son of Lyanna Stark, Ned's sister, and Rhaegar Targaryen, who is, of course, Danny's eldest brother. Melisandre seeks out royal blood because there is great power in royal blood, which we have seen from her cray-cray smoke baby magic, amongst other things. So her giving Jon Snow the let's get it on look suggests that he has royal blood. And since Rhaegar was the son of the Mad King, if the theory is correct, Jon has the most royal blood around. Which gets me feeling a little bit like Melisandre. Really excited. Number two, the Cersei flashback. Now there are multiple reasons why this would land so high on the list. First of all, we get a little background from Cersei, which is great, and we get to see that she has always been a heartless bitch. But the reason it does land so high is because this is the first flashback of Game of Thrones, which has me asking the question, are we going to get more? Are we going to be able to see Ned in his prime? Are we going to be able to see the Battle of the Trident? Are we even going to be able to see Rhaegar Targaryen? Fingers crossed. And finally, number one, Mance Raider gets put to death. First of all, this is the death of a great character who helped shape a large portion of the Jon Snow storyline. But the reason this does land the number one spot is because it puts to death another really widely held fan theory. The theory that Mance Raider is actually a glamoured Rhaegar Targaryen. Now this theory has a bunch of problems with it, but we now know that it is definitely not true. Because if Mance really was Rhaegar, he wouldn't have been burned by the flame, because Rhaegar was a dragon, like Danny. So he would not have been burned by the flames, same as Danny was not burned by the flames. Presumably. So because of this, down goes the theory. Or perhaps he actually was Rhaegar Targaryen and was just pretending to be burned so that he can make a miraculous escape, or just rise from the flames like a phoenix and make everybody think he's a badass. I don't know. But then Jon Snow decides to take shit into his own hands and puts an arrow in him to ease his passing. Now, if this theory is true, and the theory we talked about before in this video is true, then Jon Snow killed his own father. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to whatdoyouwatch.com to get all of our content. I'm Michael Kovacevic, and I'll see you guys next time.